Hi, this is Mrs. Macabre, and welcome to the Winding Lane Bracelet tutorial. As you can see, I've got two bracelets made already. I'll take those out of the way. I'm getting ready to make a third one using my favorite Planet Penny Cotton Club yarn in this lovely eggshell color, perfect for spring. I have to give a, give a little plug to my friend Penny. On my yarn, I have strung about 20 beads. My other bracelets I used the same color beads, but on this one I'm going to do a little experiment with changing colors as I go. Uh, when you're working with bead crochet, you want to slide your beads way down the yarn, get them out of your way so that you have some yarn to work with. Let's get started by learning how to do the forward loop chain. This pattern is based on the forward loop chain. It's very easy and gives you a really nice textured, stable chain. I'm starting with a knotless loop. You can also start with a normal loop uh, with a slip knot. To make the forward loop chain, reach behind the yarn you have wrapped over your finger, insert hook back to front, let the yarn slip off your finger, and gently tighten it down. Yarn over, pull through both, and you've made your first knotless chain. Let's make another one. Reach behind, pull the yarn off your finger, gently Snug it down to that loop on the hook, yarn over, and pull through both loops on hook. And occasionally they just don't want to go through. Reach through, pull the loop down, yarn over, pull through both loops on hook. We want to make a total of six forward loop chains, which we will then join into a ring for the button loop on our bracelet. And so as you're looking at the yarn wrapped over your finger, reach around to that back strand, insert the hook back to the front, pull it off your finger, gently snug it up, yarn over, pull through both the loops on the hook. Okay, we have six forward loop chains, and you'll notice that the forward loop chain has great texture. On the front side, it looks exactly like a normal chain stitch. On the back, it has this sort of little ridgy bump on each stitch, but which gives it, as I said, great texture. And when I come back, we will join it into a ring and make our first half shell for the bracelet. 